Hey everybody, welcome to Franny's Hair. Yes, I said Franny's Hair. That's the new name of my channel. And to another episode of Wig Winners. Okay, so before I get started, I just wanted to mention that I changed my YouTube channel name to Franny's Hair. I'm going to be focusing on the wig-related content. Since I started my business, it's taken up all of my time, and I just don't have time to design crochet projects and film tutorials. So I'm going to be putting that aside for now. I'll still be crocheting at night in front of the TV, but I won't be doing videos on them. If you joined me for the crochet, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for that and to make sure you check out the channels that came out of our community. Misty Dawn Creates was one, Dragon Bee Crochet, that's Lisa Mayen's channel. Go check those out and thank you so much for helping me start this journey. I also wanted to mention I have a new Instagram account. It's Franny's underscore hair. So come on over there and check us out. We're adding more content all the time. I also have a private Facebook group, Franny's Hair. We're up to about 1,300 members right now. We all share pictures of ourselves in different wigs. We share tips and tricks and give each other support on the wig journey. And I have a resident stylist there who is doing free video consultations for people and helping people to choose wigs and colors and styles. So come on over and join us. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so for this episode of Wig Winners, which by the way, I was asked to ask you, do you like the name Wig Winners? Would you like Wig Wars, Head to Head? Let me know in the comments below what you'd like this series called. This episode is gonna be focused on the shorter bob. And I have four contenders here. The first one is Merit by Aesthetica. Then we have Confidence by Tony Bratton. Sunset, you know this has been my go-to wig for the longest time, by Ellen Villa. And then finally, we have Straight Up With a Twist, by Raquel Welsh. I want to start out by saying all of these are on sale right now. They'll be on sale this week and at the sale price Merit and these two are around $270. Tony Bratton's confidence is $120. So she is going to be the most affordable wig in this group. Okay, so let's start with Merit. This is Merit by Aesthetica in the color R8 slash 26H. And you can see it has blonde highlights in it. And R8 is the brown, the brunette that you're seeing in there. It's a medium brunette. Color is not going to play a role in which wig I choose. It's going to be features, feel, how it fits, things like that. But I'm sharing the color with you because I'm sure you'll want to know what color they are. All right, I'm going to spin first and show you how the wig looks on all sides. And then I'm going to talk about it. It's an adorable style and I first came across Merit when I was doing the one-of-a-kind videos where I had the sample wigs from Aesthetica and I tried on a Merit wig and I was like, oh, I love just the shape of this and the feel of it. Now she's not heat friendly, so she is shinier and you could use dry shampoo or any of the techniques you use to bring down shine. She has really nice swing and I like the shape. There's, it's low density. If there's any permatease, it's very minimal. Um, this has a lace front. There you go, you can look there, which is really nicely done. And a mono top, so you can part her anywhere, as you can see there. So she's loaded with features. The only thing she doesn't have is that she's not heat friendly, which I know many people don't like the heat friendly because it requires more upkeep. So if that's the case, then this would be a better choice for you. As far as how the fibers feel, they feel really nice and silky. And I really like the swing that you get. It's almost like it's a little bit razored 
at the bottom there. So I like that about the style. The cap is very comfortable. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference. My face is eight and a half inches from forehead to chin. And I would say this cap fits me nicely. Aesthetica usually runs average to a little bit larger. If you have one of their pure stretch caps, they stretch much more. This one has every feature, so it'll stretch less, but I would definitely say it's an average and it could probably go a little bit more. But I'm a 21 and a half inch circumference, very comfortable. I like this little side bang here too. I don't know if you can see that it's a little bit shorter than the length here. Really pretty style. All right, let's take a look at Tony Bratton's Confidence. Okay, this is Tony Bratton's Confidence in the color Red Blonde, which is a beautiful color. I think this is my favorite Tony Bratton color. Again, color's not playing a role in the winner choice, but I'm just gonna show this to you. How pretty is that? Now this one, as I said before, is the least expensive of all of these. It's a basic cap. There's no lace front, I'm gonna show you here, and there's no mono part or mono top. However, it is rooted, and that's what I try to do when I get a wig that doesn't have a monofilament top or a mono part. I try to get it rooted so that it hides that fact that you can't see scalp there, and I think this is done really well. Now, I've had this wig for a while, uh, so this is not a brand new one, but I love this wig. I have worn this wig so many times. I'm going to spin, and I'm going to show you what she looks like, and then we'll talk a little bit more about her. Okay, so right off the bat, what I'm noticing is that I have a lot more shape. It comes out more than Merit did. Merit seemed to hang flatter, and that may be because there was no permatease or very little, if any, in Merit. This does have some around here, but it lends to that shape, which I actually really like. I know that it has no lace front, but the way that I wear this down like this, I don't think you need a lace front. If I were to try to pull it back, that would not look good. But I wear it down and I love it. And I don't think you can tell that it's not coming out of my head because I have this down. As far as the cap goes, very comfortable. I will check where the adjusters are on this. I don't know if Toni Bratton runs just average or if she runs larger or smaller. Um, so I'll look at the adjusters when I take this off and let you know. As far as density goes, I would say she's medium density and there's definitely some permatease in here. I don't think it's overly done, but I do think it gives this nice shape and because it's a basic cap, I'm sure it helps to hide the wefting. The fibers, I would say they're not as silky as the Merit. I can feel the permatease a little bit, so there is that, you know, you feel the wiry hairs in there. As far as the movement of the fibers go, I would say it's not as swingy as Merit was, so maybe a little bit more stiff, but I really like the way that it lays. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Before we move on to the next one, I just moved the adjusters out. I did have them adjusted in quite a bit. So this, I would say, runs average to a bit larger than average because I have plenty of room in here now that I've adjusted it out to the edges. Okay, so before I get started with this one, which is Sunset, which was my go-to wig forever, let me just say that Confidence by Toni Bratton is heat-friendly, and that's why she's less shiny than Merit, and also than Sunset. Sunset is not a heat-friendly wig, and when we get to straight up with a twist, that is a heat-friendly wig. So I have not heat-friendly, heat-friendly, not heat-friendly, heat-friendly, just so you can keep track. So... Sunset has a lace front and a mono part. So let me just show you that there, lace front and mono part. And you can see it's pretty dense, the part. Um, you know, when I first started wearing Sunset, I was a new wig wearer and I didn't know as much as I know now. And now looking back at the wig, it seems different to me. I haven't worn it in a while because I've had so many wigs to wear and to try on. 
And now that I put it back on, I do feel it's a little dense in here. I would probably have to pluck it a little bit. And it is just a part, it's not a mono top. As far as the style goes, I'm gonna spin for you and then we're gonna talk about it. Ellenville is known for low density wigs and I would say this is low to medium density I would say I feel permatease around here which again is probably giving it some shape and hiding some wefting I think it's a little bit shorter than the other two wigs and I think I actually like a little bit longer of a wig for me as far as the front goes there's a sweep in the bang right here and I may have styled that straighter when I wore it in the past and I usually wore it behind my ear like that. It's a really cute little bob, very easy, throw on and go, just a simple elegant style. I still really like it. As far as the fibers, the fibers feel very silky and smooth and does have some nice swing. I think Still Merit had better swing for me, better movement of fiber. By the way, this is in the color Light Bernstein Rooted, which is the color that I usually wore. It's one of my favorite colors from Ellen Villa. You can see that this is shinier again than Confidence was, and you know, you'd have to use some dry shampoo or use whatever techniques you use to bring down the shine if you don't like the shine. Okay. Let's move on to our final contender. Okay, and finally, this is Raquel Welsh's Straight Up With A Twist in Cinnabar. Look at that color. That's beautiful. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that I have this hair falling in my face. And if I try to brush it back, let me just... Yeah, it wants to fall forward. You can see that. So I would actually have to use heat. This is heat friendly. I'd have to use heat to um, do something to keep that back. Straight up with a twist has a lace front. Let's see if you can see that there. This lace front doesn't seem to be laying as flat on me. I'm not really sure why. Typically, Raquel Welsh's lace fronts are excellent. So I don't know if this is an anomaly or not. You can probably see that there. It has a mono top. I don't know if you can see. I'll... There you go. So you can part it anywhere. The shape, I really like the shape and the style. Okay, so let me spin for you so you can see the style. One thing I love about Raquel Welsh wigs is the feel of the fibers. They feel so luxurious, and this is no exception. It feels really nice. I would say the density is a medium density, and it is a little bit dense around the top there, so you might want to pluck it a little, but you have to be careful when you have a full mono top. You don't want to pluck it in one spot and then decide you want to part it somewhere else. I don't know that it's necessary to pluck it, but it just felt like it was a little dense up there. as far as seeing scalp. I think this is a beautiful style. The one downside to this is the way this hair keeps falling in my face. I would definitely have to do something with that. As far as swing goes, I would say this is on the order of merit. Has nice swing to the fibers. Okay, so that's all the wigs. Now I'm gonna choose my winner. And the winner is Confidence by Tony Bratton. Taking into account the price point and the style, I had to go with this one. I really love the shape of this one for me. I love the length. I love that it's so affordable. And it's one of those easy throw on and go styles. I really love it. Okay, let me know which one would be the winner for you, which one you think is the winner for me after seeing me in all of them. And also, I'd love to hear what you'd like to name this series. So put all of that in the comments below. As always, if you have any questions on any of these wigs or anything at all, 
feel free to email me at my email address, franny at franniesair.com. That's a new email address for me, so make sure you mark that down. You can contact me in my private Facebook group, Franny's Hair. Also, make sure to stop over and see our new Instagram account, Franny's underscore hair. And all of these wigs will be on sale at franniesair.com all week long, so go check that out. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.